Hey guys, so it's time to check out the browser here on the Galaxy S3 Mini versus the Nokia Lumia 520, which is a low-cost Lumia device on market at the moment. It's only cost around 150 euros, which is an insanely good price. And then we do have the Galaxy S3 Mini. You might have to pay a little bit more for it, uh, coming here with Android. Uh, you can see also it's in Samsung's own touchways. Of course, I made a ton of videos with this bad boy if you want to check it out. Of course, now we do have the new successor to this device, the Galaxy S4 Mini, uh, that I'm currently checking out a lot. So we're going to check out the browser in this video, um, so uh, we have the Internet Explorer browser here in Windows Phone 8, yes you actually do get Windows Phone 8 here on this low cost device. So we have the Internet Explorer browser versus Samsung's own TouchWiz browser. Uh, so when we pop up the displays over here, uh, the first thing I can see is that the UI looks a little bit more optimized and a little bit better uh, on the Lumia 520 device. You can see down here, you only have one bar and that's at the bottom. You can see that you can see the whole web uh, search, and if you want to search for the web, you can just type in here, and you can just go back. Uh, you have a very, very simple, neat, and good-looking reload button, and uh, you don't really have to have that much more controls in here. If you want to go back, of course, you always do have that back key, uh, which is quite nice. And then you do have a menu button here on the side, which is very, very nicely done. Uh, if you want to go down to full settings down here. Uh, but what I'm more impressed about is the tab system here. Very, very quick load up here. And if you want to add more tabs, you can see how good speed it is over here. So I'm just going to type in this picture. And I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network. see here and if you want to go to the tab system maybe there's a quicker way but very very snappy tab system here and if I want to close something immediately closes immediately also opens up when I tap on something I'm very very impressed with that uh, then we have the UI here on the S3 mini especially with the Samsung's own touch with browser which has some very, very good features but it just looks a little bit weird here at the top when you fire up the browser I'm not quite sure why they've cluttered it that much you can only see www it looks, it looks a little bit weird uh, when you can't see the full page. You can, of course, just tap on it, uh, but it still feels a little bit weird. And you can also see here, let's see, uh, when we tap on it, like a slight delay down there and uh, goes a little bit black, which I think looks pretty weird. Uh, and then we have the forward and back keys. I'm not quite sure why you would want to have a forward button. I don't think many people use it. RSS feed, do really many people use that? I'm not quite sure. Uh, I mean, you have already have a back button here, so why would you need back buttons there at the top? Not quite sure how they are thinking. And then you do have the tab system here, and uh, it's not as good. It, it's a little bit ugly looking. Let's see here. You can just let the page load up. So when we tap on the tab system, you can see it's a little bit slow there. Uh, not the best UI here when you open up new tabs and uh, you just want to tap here. I mean, it's not super bad, but I don't think it's just as good uh, as the one that you get in Windows Phone 8. Uh, but if we're going to take a look at some positive things here, uh, which I do think that with you get the AMOLED display here. Uh, in the Galaxy S3 Mini, which makes the device shines uh, and really do outperform uh, the display that you do get on the Lumia 520. Uh, white colors and just every single color looks more vibrant, looks more interesting. White looks more white, and uh, we do have um, the screen brightness on full on both these two devices. And of course, it's a little bit hard here because we can't access it quick here on the Lumia 520, but it's on 100%. Uh, so um, let's just see here the performance. So if you just try to do a zoom in test here. Let's just try to zoom in here on that little icon. So you can see that both have no issues or anything. Let's just try to do that quick. I can feel that the device feels that the S3 Mini uh, has a little bit more of a responsive display that seems to be responding a little bit better here uh, than the display uh, on the Lumia 520, but of course it's not super bad. I uh, think many people will notice it. And then you can also see one thing here with the Lumia 520 that sometimes when I use it, 
on a surface when you put the device down on a surface like I'm having right now. Let's see here if we can load up the full page. Sometimes it seems like I have problems loading up GSM Reno. Hmm. Doesn't it does only want to load half the page. There we go. So uh, you can see here that this one, it moves around a lot, the Lumia 520, especially if you have it on the surface like I'm having right now. You, I mean, you, look at it, when I zoom in here on the, the S3 Mini, it doesn't move around or do anything weird. Uh, when I'm trying the same thing here on the 520, it's moving around and it, it could be extremely annoying. So just bear in mind that little thing. Uh, let's just also take a look here in text clarity when we are zoomed out on both. Uh, it's definitely is a little bit more clear here on the S3 mini uh, as far as I can tell, but you can't read on any one of them uh, because they have too low resolution here on both of these devices. So of course you have to zoom in. Uh, so let's just try here also to see kind of the features that we do get on both in 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 the browser. One thing I do like here with the the S3 Mini here is that we do have this desktop view. So if you go to a web page and you always want to see the desktop view, you just take this in, and it will reload uh, all of the pages. Uh, but um, overall, you can also you also have the download page which um, I don't think you do get downloads. If you do download a lot, I don't think you do get that in Internet Explorer browser here uh, on the Lumia 520. Now you can also see I did have the same problem here uh, that it doesn't want to load up the full page. Uh, let's just try to go in here and let's try to go up and down in terms of scrolling. So I'm just going to go down a little bit. Let's go up. Let's see here. You see, I did get to the top uh, on both devices, uh, but a little bit quicker here, probably on the S3 Mini. I mean, it'd be a super big deal for you, though. Let's try to go into this. One thing here that's very, very good with S3 Mini uh, and the touch with browser is that when you are inside of an article like I am right now, let's say you only just want to read the article, you don't want to see any, any ads or anything like that. Uh, what you can do here uh, on the, uh, the S3 Mini is you just tap on this reading mode up at the top and it will remove uh, all the clutter and just uh, have Okay, there we go. So it seems like I'm getting some problems sometimes when I do use this on my S3 Mini. I'm not quite sure why because I don't get the same problem uh, with my S4 Mini. But it seems like um, it could be some glitch in, in in Android or anything. But you can see that sometimes when I do tap on that reading mode button, it doesn't want to work. Let's see here. Let's just wait and see if it, yeah, it starts to happen when I start to scroll. Not quite sure why that's happening. Uh, I don't think uh, other people have that problem, uh, but I've been, I think I've been seeing it with another Galaxy device as well, which could be extremely annoying because I don't want to see any pop-ups or any weird things going on. Uh, but that reading mode is something that HTC has with text reflow uh, and also is uh, Apple has it with their also like a reading mode you can tap up there at the at the top and I find that extremely useful sometimes when I uh, when I'm not on the mobile desktop version of a site or mobile version of a website uh, so remember that that of course uh, you don't have that you can also see the desktop site in the Internet Explorer app here on the Lumia 520 but uh, if usually when you go to website, you will most big websites have a mobile version, uh, so you won't have any problems reading any articles or anything like that. Of course, uh, when you uh, uh, when you are in that specific mode, uh, let's just do some more loading test here. Even though we shouldn't see a big difference in terms of speed, it should be about the same because they are on the same Wi-Fi network. 
Hmm, that was weird. Didn't want to load up. Could be because the display is not as responsive. So let's try one more time here. So I can't really see any major difference. But it's really, really annoying. Same problem that I do have with iPhone 44s that they move around extremely much because of this on, on the back, uh, which is a bad like material that they have decided to use probably, or they didn't balance out the phone or something. And here we have the new Motorola Moto X. Uh, so just quickly a video checking out the browser uh, if you want to do me me to do any more videos or uh, compare the Lumia 520 versus other phones or do more like gaming videos or game comparisons uh, please let me know about that and I will see what I can do.